in the past there was a situation that really felt very positive and optimistic and exciting and this is surrounding your home environment surrounding your home you were really excited about something it just felt really positive and um, inspired and promising and now it's attaining to new levels of understanding this is about the fair exchangeness of a situation and the challenge is to begin again and in a, in a, to tweak things into a little bit of a new way the situation definitely involves a, a childhood friend, a family member, a soulmate, a past love. And your challenge is to view the situation in a way where the thoughts that you continue to focus on and to surround yourself with are high vibration and what's happening though is you've been feeling like I just don't know what to do I don't know which way to go and I feel stuck here well at some point here you're going to break yourself feel free from that stuck feeling and you will be leaving behind a toxic situation to move forward you're, you're looking to get back into that carefree, trusting, uh, optimistic, and positive vibe. I just feel like you're really having a new understanding over this. Um, over this relationship that's been with you for a long time. It does not have to be romantic. But it is definitely a soul growth type of relationship. It's tough to take a new beginning and walk away from this because it's something you're so deeply, so deeply passionate about. It's so. The challenge is to walk away from something that you believed in so much and that you still would like to see work out. But it's not a fair give and take situation. It is one in which, you know, one is the benefactor and, and one is uh, the beneficiary. And so... I feel that the benefits have run out is what I'm hearing. The benefits have run out. It's time to take that new beginning and walk away from what is serving you things or ideas or situations or emotions that don't really suit you well. They're not serving your pleasure. They're serving you, but you don't like what they're serving up. You have been very, very passionate about this situation. I mean, when you went in, you went in head first, jumped all the way in, no holes barred. I'm going hard with this. Go hard or go home. I'm going to make this happen. I am going to work with this. I can do this. And because of that, now it's a... A balancing that's coming in there's a balancing there um, a decision also I feel for some to be made of do I take this path or do I take that path do I take this option or do I take that option and how feasible is it for me to take both of these options how feasible is it what is the repercussions to me if I keep both of these options I do feel that both partners are, or both parties of this situation are feeling uh, like there's some harmony there. 
But I do feel that there's some information that's not being shared. And as it is received, there's this new clarity of what needs to happen. I feel that there's a bit of guardedness in regards to this relationship, in regards to the interaction with this person. And I do feel that um, somebody's really feeling locked in, trapped, or stuck. And I do feel that there is a persistence here that's going to break through that feeling of stuckness, of trapped, of not knowing which way to go, of I don't know what to do. And you'll cut through to some things to find your power. Your power is there and, and you will walk away from anything that doesn't serve you well so that you can honor yourself is what I see here. That you will choose to honor yourself and move forward out of the situation. Yes, Mickey. Any kisses? No, no, no. Yeah. Yes, you leave the Ace of Cups alone. No touching. No, Quentin, no. Yeah. The card. Granny's going to see what else comes out about the same message. Yeah. That we don't even know who it's for. We just felt like we needed to do it and post it. So here mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we felt that we needed to do it on Facebook, which is really interesting. Duh. Yeah. Okay. All of my babies love tarot cards. Huh? No, Papa, no. Duh. No, 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 Papa, no. Duh. You know you're not supposed to touch it. Leave it alone. Hands off. Hands off. <clears throat> Let's see what else I can get out of this message. What? Again, same card. Bonus. Second bonus card. We have two bonus cards on the spread now. Ooh, with the Ten of Cups. Nice. Yeah. Two of Swords. Three of Cups. And the Fool. Another full card with the sun underneath. Boy, this is looking really fantastic. So you have moved into this situation with a sense of leadership, duty, pride and passion trusting that all things would be balanced and so you found that things have worked out in a balanced way for you and now you're at this place of making this decision about what to move forward with do i take option a option b or do i take option c which is both a and b or do i take option d which is way on a whole entirely new path and you're getting those answers in the solutions that you're seeing in regards to the path for you. It, it's, it's an abundant, prosperous 
re result. It's an abundant and prosperous situation and reality that you're accepting and, and moving into. And it's feeling like it's harvest time now that you are at harvest time based off of all of the old decisions and choices that you have been making. And so, you know, you came through and you let go of anything that wasn't fair and balanced. You let go of anything that did not appreciate and recognize what you bring to the table. You let go of anybody that didn't bring to the table or anything that did not um, add to you is the phrase that I'm hearing. And so now it's about just holding that high vibration as you're in this place of new beginning, not really knowing what to expect, not really knowing what's coming up, but, you know, understand that others around you can't always see everything and they aren't as led to their intuition as you are. And so you're just waiting for situations to come ripe in the world around you to harmonize everyone else's passions with the ideas that end up being uh, rendezvoused towards you for your own soul growth purpose journey as it unfolds in your life and you are just following your intuition although you don't know how that's going to play out you follow your intuition and allow the unfolding of it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, externally, I feel that for some of you, uh, you know, you have somebody around you that is indecisive. They, it's like they come and they go. They don't want to be with you, but they don't want anyone else to have you. I feel that energy. There's also this idea of, you know, to help get through this, get together with your friends. This is what fell out for us. Release. This is all about a release. Get together with your friends. This release brings gains. Okay? The release that brings gains. Get together with your friends for some association to really talk about um, the things that you're having a hard time facing, coping with or getting solidified in your mind and just be trusting that as you cut out these old situations everything unfolds for you in new beautiful ways for you to help uh, attain your wishes and desires and your goals and uh, staying in that positive frame of mind is the most powerful thing you do you can do and also the honoring of the self in the knowledge that you were your own first most valuable gift you've ever received in this life and so in the honoring of yourself there is an honoring of that which is divine and in that is where everything that you require or desire manifests for you so for some reason, I was in, in, inspired to do this spread like this. I did not put an introduction to this video because I don't know who it's for. But if you watched it and it was for you, I would appreciate some feedback on that. And thank you so much. Um, let me see now. I look forward to reading for you in any time and space that you're ready. My website with all the details is lphtarot.com. That's lphtarot.com as in love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time. Thank you, my little butt. You brought Granny to cup of vessel. Yeah. Yeah.